First of all, the Ajuz and Ajuz are unable to get out of there. Number one, there are many reasons why. Number one, as we said before, they are a very primitive people. Their understanding of technology is not like ours. They don't know what's going on in the world right now. They don't, they don't have computers, they don't have airplanes, they don't have these weaponry we have. They have nothing. And they are between mountains. These mountains are covered with su such bad climate that if they try to go up these mountains, they'll die. So they can't go around or on top of this wall. Some people said this wall is the Great Wall of China. No, it's not the Great Wall of China. For the Great Wall of China is broken. You can easily pass through it and on top of it's a tourist um, you know, site. And some people, they describe them as being short. You know, they're, they're, like, they're like really, they're like midgets walking around. Oh, and they've got these strange eyes and about if uh, this is all rubbish you know there's nothing in the hadith that states that they are like that like aliens or something they are real human beings from the upper part of the world they have a certain look maybe maybe more of an asian look because it's that region or more, you know more of more of that type of a look allahu alam but the point is they are people they are humans like you and us but they are just very very corruptive they're more corrupted than the corruptive people of today immoral uh, no principles, nothing. And when they come out, they just destroy. They destroy, rob, rape, kill, murder, all of these things. The Prophet Sallallahu tells us, إِذَا أَوْحَ اللَّهُ إِلَىٰ عِيسَىٰ أَنِّي قَدْ أَخْرَجْتُ عِبَادًا لِي لَا يُدَانُ لِأَحَدٍ بِقِتَالِهِمْ فَحَرِّزْ عِبَادِي إِلَىٰ الطُّورِ These Yajuj and Majuj will come out in a time where Isa alayhi salam has already descended. Isa alayhi salam will be among us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send Jibreel alayhi salam to Isa to tell him alayhi salam that a certain type of creations of mine have now been released. Allah is talking about Ya'juj and Ma'juj. So take my servants, meaning take the Muslims, O Isa alayhi salam, take them to the mountains, At-Tur. Tawtur means here mountain. And hide. You will not be able to beat them. They are too many. They are so many, my dear brothers and sisters, Ya'juj and Ma'juj, that the Prophet Sallallahu once, I want you to listen to this, he sat down with his companions and said, for every one person that enters paradise, 999 will enter hellfire. Ah, that's, that's frightening. It means like, do we have any chance for every one person, 999 enters hellfire? So the Sahabas were concerned and they asked him, Ya Rasulallah, Ithan, therefore none of us will enter paradise, baby. Who's going to enter it? He said, don't worry. From your nation, meaning from, from my nation, just from the Muslims that ever exist, from the time of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi until the end of time, just from the Muslim nation, not from the world, from the Muslim nation, from every one of you, there is 999 of Ya'juj and Ma'juj. There are 999 folds more than the nation of Muhammad وسلم, that exists. So if we are you know, now, let's say, a billion or just over a billion, how many would that make Ya'juj and Ma'juj currently in population? If they are human like us, have prophets come to them? Of course. We don't know which prophet. But we do know they are close to the time of Musa alayhi salam. He is a messenger. But Allah tells us there isn't a single nation except that a prophet has come to them. So they did get a prophet, but they rebelled.